We're starting this morning with a taste of two companies, Whole Foods Market and Kalari Chocolates. These two speakers this morning will help us begin a day of thinking about entrepreneurial efforts that only Friends School might start. Each speaker will give us a glimpse of how her company got started. Judy is a co-founder of Kalari Chocolates, which is a worker-owned cooperative in Ecuador. Yes, we will get to taste some chocolate later this morning. Amy will give us a glimpse of how Whole Foods Market began. But even more importantly, both of these speakers this morning will give us some different frameworks and tools for making choices and evaluating a way forward. Amy will speak about the core values of Whole Foods Market and how they relate to her own core values. And Judy, once she received this speaking invitation, jumped wholeheartedly into a research project about our region. So she is coming ready to show us an example of how to research the needs of a region. And in fact, she's got a sample proposal for us. Will it be the one we go with? Who knows? But we are going to learn a lot today from both of these women. Each will speak for about 20 minutes. And then we'll have plenty of time for question and answer and discussion. A word for those who are new to this building. Should you find you, this is a public service announcement. Should you find you need a restroom, out the door, outside, and there will be another set of doors this way. What else shall I tell you? On your uh, chairs, on the benches, should be cards and pencils. Um, please use those to write down your questions. Also, uh, during the discussion time, there will be two folks with microphones. Could those two people stand? Who are you who have microphones? All right, Alexandra, where's the second mic? Haley, all right. So they have got you covered. Just raise your hand, and they'll come to you. Are we ready to begin? All right. First is Amy Eller. Good morning. Can you hear me? Everybody hear me? Excellent. I'm a, I'm a little taller than Kirsten. Thank you all so much for welcoming me here to Olney with such open arms and open hearts. It really has been a heartwarming experience for me. Um, you know, I didn't really understand exactly why Kirsten invited me here at first, but I, I get it. I get it now. I'm here. I'm ready. Um, <laughs> so anybody here heard of Whole Foods Market before? You've been there, you shop there, you love it? Yeah, good, good, I like to hear that. Um, a lot of people, I see, I saw a lot of hands that didn't raise either, so um, Whole Foods Market is a natural and organic grocery store. Um, I, I like to feed the people, I like to eat food, I'm all about food, so it's a good company for me to work for um, and work with and be a part of. Um, so Whole Foods Market started in the early 80s with three young men who um, had a dream that food should taste good and be good for you and come in the most natural state that it can, as minimally processed as possible. And they started this tiny little store in Austin, Texas. And that store has grown in 30 years to a Fortune 500 company with over 300 stores uh, internationally now. We, we do have stores in Canada and in the UK. So we're big. We're really big. And um, we've grown really fast. And I think that the reason that we have maintained such a strong place within our market um, is one because we came in when the market was ready for us to come in. There was a growing interest in sustainable food that was just a tiny little glimpse when John Mackey started this company in the 80s and has grown into um, a really strong market within within the food industry. People 
want to know where their food comes from. People want to know that it was raised or grown in a sustainable way. And people want to have a little bit more, more control and more ownership of what they put into their bodies, which is something that's really important to me. Um, so I came to work for Whole Foods Market in 2007, and I came into this marketing position with some background in farming and organic agriculture. I worked for a nonprofit called the Carolina Farm Stewardship Association for many years before I came to Whole Foods, and that was an organization where I worked one-on-one uh, -on -one with local farmers, helping them transition from a conventional farming strategy into an organic farming strategy and um, then help them find a market and find a way to sell that food that they were growing in this new way. Um, and then I really got interested in that whole retail thing. How do we get this food into the hands of the people? So it was a natural transition for me into Whole Foods Market. Um, but I never thought that I'd be working for a corporation. Never. Um, I, I tr trained myself and learned to market myself as an excellent nonprofit communicator. And that's what I thought I'd be doing forever until I realized how much fun it was to get the food to the people. And so moving into a company like Whole Foods Market, I had to evaluate a lot. I did a lot of research into the company. I was really pleased to find out that very quickly on the website of Whole Foods Market, I could find out what their core values were, what their mission was, what their vision was for the future, and how they planned on, 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 it, on attaining those goals. And um, there's a lot of integrity in that, in, in putting your core values in writing on a wall, on a website, where people can see them and read them and hold you accountable for them. And that's, that's the piece that impressed me so much with Whole Foods Market when I first started researching this company was that they had a way for people to hold them accountable. And when they fell short of one of those core values, the people brought it to their attention. And Whole Foods Market did something about it. And they have continued to add core values as they find that, um, that there's something else that needs to be stated and that they want to be held accountable for. So, let's see if I can work this thing. Ha ha. It's about core values. Our first core value at Whole Foods Market is selling the highest quality natural and organic products available. So, natural and organic. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. We, we have a variety of different products in the store, but we have a set of quality standards that is a really long list that would be really boring if I put up on the wall. But basically, we evaluate every product that comes into our store and make sure that there's no artificial ingredients, such as um, preservatives, colorings, flavorings, sweeteners. Um, anything that is made in that lab, we don't really want that in our store. We want things that are grown in nature and um, have been put together in a, in, in a good way. Even if, you know, we, we do have processed foods, but they're minimally processed using quality ingredients as well. So um, I made a list of my own core values. I know some of you that were in the Enviro class did a little list of your own core values as well. But um, when I was preparing for this presentation, I wanted to reevaluate do my core values now at this point in my life, they, do they still kind of mesh with Whole Foods Market core values? Because I hadn't really done that since I started working there in 2007 and I did that initial process. So I have my own list of core values here. And um, one of my core values as a human being is to ensure that I have shelter, food, water, and love for myself and my family. And so the food thing that making that available for me and giving giving me the ability to make a choice of what kind of food that I'm putting into my body. That's kind of what Whole Foods Market offers to the people is a choice for what they're going to put in their bodies. So that one still works. The next core value is um, satisfying and delighting our customers. You know, when I worked at the nonprofits, I did a lot of really meaningful work. And you know, I was doing things that was really fulfilling 
but I spent a lot of time at a desk in an office by myself, and I didn't get that human interaction that I really, really just love and strive for in my everyday life. And so all of a sudden, I am thrust into this position where I get to interact with lots of people every single day. And if I get a little bored in my office, I walk a few feet, and I am surrounded by people, people who I can look into their eyes. I can help them find, you know, baking powder or that rare mushroom that they're here looking for. But I get to look into their eyes and I get to have that human relationship that I missed so much in my previous jobs. So every day we go out of our way to make sure that we're doing everything we can to bring what our customers are looking for right to their hands and allow them to take that home to their families. So satisfying and delighting customers fits in with that whole um, how do I say it? Create and maintain positive human relationships. That's really important to me. Um, and the next one does too, supporting team member happiness and excellence. Uh, the day that I agreed to be a team leader, I took, it, I took on the responsibility for balancing the happiness and the excellence of the people who are on my team, as well as the people who are on the team's quote unquote above me. It's interesting, at Whole Foods Market, everyone is basically a team member. Um, some of us have this name, this, this title after a name with a leader in it or a specialist or a coordinator. Um, but when it comes down to it, we're all team members and we're all working together. And um, I actually consider myself working for my team rather than my team working for me. I'm there to give them the tools that they need to get their job done. I'm there to find a way for them to be as happy as they can in their job and for them to take ownership of what it is that they're doing and take it in a new direction if that's the way they see it and it, fit, and it still fits within our mission and give them ownership of what, of what, they're, what they're accomplishing at, at Whole Foods Market. So supporting team members' happiness and excellence goes right in there with that positive human relationship thing that's, that's so dear to my heart. And then we move on to um, creating wealth through profits and growth. Okay, so back to that um, ensure that I have shelter, food, water for my family. Can't, in this day and age, you kind of have to have a little bit of wealth to, to do that. Um, and so, and then you have to be able to maintain what you're doing. And so in order for us to continue to get food to the people and for us to offer this option for people who really want to choose this kind of food for their bodies, then we have to can, we have to make sure that we're, we're bringing in a profit and that we're staying profitable. Um, and then that also allows us to give back to our communities and the environment. So Whole Foods Market has a pretty strong commitment to the communities that we work within. Um, every single store at Whole Foods Market has a position that I hold in Durham, North Carolina, um, and that's the marketing team leader, which is also pretty much a community liaison. Our goal is to reach out into the community that we live in, see what that community needs, see what that community has to offer us in return, and create a symbiotic relationship between our store and the community where that store sits, the location there. And so we give back 5% of our profits um, as a company, as a whole, every year to nonprofit organizations, to foundations, to um, foundations like the Global Animal Partnership or the Whole Planet Foundation, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second. Um, and then on a community, and then on a store level, once every quarter we give back, we give five, per, uh, we do a five percent day in which we donate five percent of our profits to a local nonprofit, and um, in our in our local communities. So we're doing it on two levels. There's the national level, and then there's the local level. So um, 